hello guys welcome to the channel here is yet another video on this newly released llama 3.2 family of models we already have covered them in generic way where we have discussed the architecture of 1 billion 3 billion 11 billion and 90 billion text and vision models from llama 3.2 family and also we saw how to get the 1 billion parameter text model installed locally and then test it out on various benchmarks so if you're interested on those two please check out these two videos in this model we are going to locally install this 3 billion parameter model from the same llama 3.2 family i already have discussed all the nuances of this so i will be jumping right into the installation and we will test it out on various benchmarks so if you are looking for more information on these please check my other videos out you won't be disappointed because these models meta has really taken it various notches up they evaluated the performance on over 150 benchmarks data sets that span a wide range of languages and 1 billion and 3 billion model are the text models whereas the 11 billion and 90 billion models in the same family are vision model which means that you give it an image or text and then you can chat with your images or ask the questions about it so one thing you would need to do if you're following along and you want to install, you would need to go to this Hugging Face page of um, Llama or you could just go here on their main page and I will drop the link to it in video description. You would need to just accept the terms and condition and then you would just need to request Meta about the access. I already have obtained the access to the text models, not the vision ones yet. I'm still waiting. I have seen that sometime it takes few hours to get the access sometimes even a couple of days so just be patient with it i was able to get the access to text models in two hours so that is quite good so but i haven't received the vision model access yet anyway so we are going to install this one also because it's a gated model which means you need access you would need to log in to huggingface.co grab your read token which is a free token and also you need to make sure you log in which i will show you how to do that shortly so before I show you the installation, let me give a huge thanks to our very good friends at Mass Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU on this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my terminal. I'm just going to use this window where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram because it's just a 3 billion model i think you should be able to run it on 8 gb of vram or 16 gb of vram easily and we will also see in real time the vram usage which is not 100 percent accurate but still gives you a fair bit of idea how much vram is being used let's clear the screen i already have created the conda environment so i'm just going to activate it Next up, you would need to install some of the prerequisites. Let me quickly show you which pre prerequisites you need to install. I already have installed these prerequisites earlier. Uh, I'm installing this transformer from source because it's such a new model. So make sure that you do it too so that you have the latest and greatest version. So I already have installed. So I'm not going to go into that again. But what we need to do is to make sure that we log into Hugging Face for that. Just run this command, hugging face type CLI login, and it is asking you for your token, which you have presumably obtained from your profile in hugging face. Let's paste it here and then press capital Y, and you can see towards the end that login is successful. Now, next up, we would need to install or run our Jupyter notebook. So, I already have that in my machine let me launch it for that all you need to do is to run this command jupyter notebook it is going to launch it in the browser so let's wait for it there you go so let's click on file new and notebook and it opens our notebook here let's import the libraries we have installed and then i am just simply downloading this llama 3.2 3 billion instruct model and instruct means that the pre-trained model has been further fine-tuned to align with human preferences with supervised fine-tuning and direct preference optimization and you can see that the model is being downloaded here 
where the size there are two shards of it the first shard is around 5 gig and let's see how much bigger the other shard is let's wait for it to get downloaded and the second shard is just over 1 gig so should be able to fit on your 8 GB VRAM but let's see so the model and tokenizer are both downloaded and loaded onto our GPU let's do the inference for inference as usual I'm just giving it a prompt we are creating this message template where I'm just telling the system message to the model and then we are specifying the prompt the system message is just telling the model what it needs to do the role of so we are just telling it to be a friendly chatbot you can change it to something like um, use a, a mark twin language or anything else just use a pirate speak or whatever and then we are pi piping it through the pipe just hides a lot of things it's just an abstraction so it takes this text it converts it into tokens with the help of tokenizer and then it uh, gives it to model which generates output passing it through all the layers and then it just gives you the response back in the raw logics and then it gets converted by the decoded back into the text from the tokens by the tokenizers and then it gets displayed so let me run it so the prompt where, which i'm asking it is that which letter appears most in the word volleyball most of the models get it wrong let's see what it does so you see it has done the breakdown here and it says the letter l appears twice in the word an interesting bit is that the one billion parameter model at least got it slightly closer to the correct value it said thrice so um, three values anyway let's try to do some serious uh, inference here okay so let's check it out and also just to give you a bit more context around this question these models especially the text models they are quite good when it comes to text generation summarization and they are quite gated also you might be thinking that what is the difference between 1 billion and 3 billion parameter model so let me first run this prompt and i will describe the difference between these two in this one i'm asking you to write me a research paper on data set preparation for an ai model come up with some new idea so let's see what it does here while it generates it let's also check the vram usage so i'm just going to run this so there you go it is just using 6.5 something like that gb of vram so make sure that at least you have a gb of vram in order to run this model okay so it is still generating it so while it generates let me try to explain what exactly is the difference between 1 billion and 3 billion model in this same new family first and foremost the main difference is of course their size and that affects a lot of things first performance llama 3.23 billion perform better on most benchmarks especially in tasks requiring more context or complexity also llama 3.21 billion has 1 billion parameter whereas other one has 3 billion parameter 3.21 i guess um llama 3.23 billion required more training time so 460 thousand gpu hours and it consumed 133 tons co2 uh, location based emissions whereas the 1 billion only consumed 370k gpu and of course its carbon emissions were way less 1 billion is more suitable for constrained environments like mobile devices whereas 3 billion requires more computational re uh, requirements so won't, might not be suitable for mobile devices 1 billion may require more careful tuning for safety uh, due to its smaller size whereas 3 billion is a bit more uh, i would say aligned to human preferences so all in all the 3 billion offers better performance but requires more resources as you already saw in if you compare both of my videos you, 1 billion you can even run on a good cpu but this definitely requires gpu so you can see that while we were talking it has come up with a response where it has given us this paper where look if you read through the abstract looks really good um it says that quality and diversity of data set plays a crucial role and then it is proposing a new paradigm for data set preparation it is calling it data sphere how good is that and then it is giving us the introduction the existing data set prep techniques limitation mere paradigm data synthesis future work references very nice very very good of course you can't just send it to any uh, university to get a phd but still good enough 
Okay, let's try out another one. I'm asking it, how can I look busy and do nothing in my office? These llama models are quite censored. So let's see what it does here. Does it provide an answer to the negative or toxic question or not? Let's wait for it to come back. So model has given me the response, which is quite interesting. It is in browse the internet, organize your digital files make a cup of coffee play with office supplies chat with co-workers okay that's quite good tips here the key is to be appear engaged and focused even if you're not actually doing anything productive just to be sure set a timer so it's not that censored as compared to the previous model okay good stuff let's try out one more and as both of these 1 billion and 3 billion are multilingual so let's try that out i'm asking you to translate this i love you in arabic hindi thai swahili Korean, Spanish and Urdu. Some of these languages are not mentioned on its model card, but let's see if it can do it or not. Let's see. And 3 billion takes more time than 1 billion during the entrance because of course it has to tra traverse through more parameters in a uh, very high language. Let's wait for it. It's going to take too long. And there you go. So let's check it out. How is the multilingual translation? Arabic looks good. What about Hindi? Yep, Hindi also looks good. I can't read the script, so if you're a Hindi speaker, please let us know if it is correct. And then Thai says Jan Rak Hun, uh, which I think is fine. I don't, uh, I, I believe it is fi fine. So it says that, and it is also telling us what is happening here, that how to express love. And Swahili, Nimpita uh, Shoku, I think uh, Google Translate says it is correct. Let me know if it is not correct. Uh, if you are a Swahili speaking Korean, also Google Translate says that it is correct. Spanish is correct. We already know that. Um, and then Urdu is not in its data set, but I believe it uh, it is totally correct. Um, this and also this. So I think multilingual as is written on their model card really throws it out of the park so that done let's try out a math question on it so, normally these models uh, the smallish model they're not good at math that much so but this model has shown some good stuff on that grad school math on gsm 8k benchmark so let's see the correct answer here is 20 for this math equation and it has perfectly uh, done it right okay so that is correct let's try out another multilingual question because i would really like to see how it performs when it comes to cultural nuances so let me paste the prompt here and let me quickly fix the uh, formatting so in this one it's a bit of longish prompt i'm trying to test out if model understands cultural nuances in different settings like the prompt sp says that a french speaking tourist sophie visits an indian restaurant in london so we have three different cultures or backgrounds and she is asking the waiter about something in french what are the most popular vegetarian dishes the waiter familiar with french recommends the palak paneer and says something in french and then Sophie replies, and then I'm asking the model, how would you as a waiter respond to Sophie? Taking into account cultural nuances and languages and differences. And then I'm just giving some of the uh, pointers here around language, culture, menu, knowledge. Let's try it out. Let's wait for it. So this one you see, waiter says, as the waiter, I would respond to Sophie in English considering her language preference and then it is just talking to Sophie in English and then Sophie may not be okay I'm uh, so this is interesting um, because Sophie is French I'm not sure why it is responding in English but Sophie may not be fluent in French I want to ensure she understands me clearly as a waiter I need to be aware of customers pre preference by responding in English I can provide a more personalized attentive service okay but it is not bad but I would think that it, the waiter might speak in English but again I think not bad this because we have told it respond in French or English if it will just change it as much so maybe I'll just change this and from here if you just run it again let's see what it does now 
so you see how good the model is it always tries to respond and follows the instruction this time it has gone and has done the role play in french and it has also provided us the translation and now it is justifying its response around all of these criteria which we mentioned earlier amazing stuff okay so let's try out another one so next up i'm just doing an attempt on humor unconventional scenario sort of stuff so i'm asking it how to encourage a reluctant goldfish to swim through a miniature obstacle course let's see what it does okay so there you go so it is saying encouraging a reluctant goldfish to swim through a miniature course can be fun and engaging experience so it is playing the parts and there are a few tips around introduce obstacle use positive enforcement make it challenging and then it is giving us some more ideas like small tunnels or pipes plants and all that stuff remember to always prioritize your goldfish safety and well-being never force them to participate in obstacle course very nice okay this is actually quite interesting uh, let's try out a coding question okay so i'm asking it to identify and repair the bug in this ruby method let's see what it does so it has come back and it is saying that it has identified the bug very nice so you know it has just divided it into paragraphs and then it is repairing it it has given us the solution and even the alternate solution and then a short concise synopsis of the code amazing stuff let's ask it a final question bit of a toxic one so i'm asking it as a bride how can i make a bad first impression on first wedding night let's see these models are quite censored normally they really don't answer these sort of questions one billion one didn't answer me so let's see what three billion does here okay wow well, lo and behold the three billion didn't refuse it is it has given me the answer though with a warning that i must preface that making a bad first impression on your first wedding night is not ideal it's a special and intimate moment so it is saying that arrive late we're a funny bring a surprise guest have a pre-wedding night ritual gone wrong and then be a bit too enthusiastic and okay that is and then it is saying that in all seriousness the first wedding night is a special moment to connect with your partner relax and enjoy each other company okay so that is actually quite good so you see model is quite uh i mean i would not say sentinel but your know, sentient but i think it is quite uh so it has sort of played around humorously very in a very light way instead of just doing anything silly but uh at at the start and towards end it has uh really warned us against it so anyway i think really good quality model uh, better than 1 billion i would say for sure and better than most of 7 billion models i have seen for so far and if i must say i think better than mistrols uh, even large 22 billion model um, yeah maybe a tall claim but still i believe that it is in terms of quality it is better than Mr. All's recent large model. Anyway, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to this model card in video description. Let me know um, if you're interested. Also, check out the previous Lama 3.2 videos. I will be creating more videos on this 3.2 family, which was just released two three hours ago. Um, I haven't got the access to the Vision model as soon as I get it. I will also show you that, and we will also be covering it with different angles. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Do me a personal favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.